It's the kind of beat to go. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joey, and today we're here for another Survivor's high-level gameplay video. I know a lot of you guys have been loving this, guys. This is probably one of your favorite series, most liked. Uh, just It's really helped to show me kind of like what you guys are liking, what's your vibe and everything, because I know high-level gameplay is pretty hard to come by, and it's really fun making this because I have my level 44 account here. A lot of you guys are actually getting to that level, so it's very helpful for you guys, I know, so... Thought I might as well kind of bring it back for another episode. And today I'm going to be kind of focusing in on farming because that's what I've been doing a lot of the last couple of days. I can see I have 111,000. 111. Yeah, 111,000. Yeah, that's what it so sounded like a crazy number to me. I said to kind of take it in. But yeah, um, in honor of March Madness, I have my State Farm bucket hat because March Madness is insane this year. My bracket's already fried. I had Baylor winning the whole thing and they got upset by Georgia State. So. What are you going to do? I was feeling lucky with Baylor, but they just didn't come through for me. If you guys have any thoughts, make sure to throw them down in the comments section. I mean, who y'all pick for your championship? Who just stuff like that? So, um, yeah, right now, let me go ahead and give me like five seconds because my recording stuff just crashed. But I'm actually going to go ahead and kind of flip this around here and kind of make the best of it here. I'm actually going to actually still make this work. I'm going to be doing some cram recording really quick. So just give me like five seconds while I kind of bring this back up. All sort of windows are coming up on my computer right now, guys. This is fun. Improvising on camera just makes life a little bit more exciting, doesn't it? All right, so let me go ahead and throw this up real quick. Put that on there. And... All right, so now we're back, and I'm hopefully this is going to be synced and everything. Feeling pretty good about it. So... Here we go. Let me go ahead and bring up the team here. Now, here is the team, the Lumberjacks and friends. Now, let me go ahead and just kind of talk about my farming strategy. So, for the strategy is, okay, let me actually take a step back real quick. My main team, level 30s and 25s, basically that's pretty much what my average is at. And right now, as you can see, i got a level 30 machine gunner with me. Now, what you want to do sort of to get your best kind of farming kind of strategy going is you're going to get about 5,000 cans, maybe 4,000 cans and maybe even 2,500 cans per raid, which is actually very good considering. I mean, it's pretty slow, but it's a whole lot more efficient than any other strategy. So you're pretty much going to go down all through your seven units, your team, and pair them with a whole bunch of level ones or just like kind of trash units that you're not going to use. Like my level my, my level one lumberjacks here. I'm going to be getting rid of these guys anyway. So might as well kind of bring them onto the team and use them. So as you can see, I have a bunch of level one lumberjacks and a level one scatter shot. And then my machine gunner. This is going to be my high level unit, which is going to be doing the bulk of the damage. But with Mexico City, which is our farming city, ugh, that is going to be our best bet for farming. So that's for me personally. I know there's some other kind of areas and whatnot, but I think this has been the uh, crowd favorite so far, but if I hear anything else, I'll make sure to guys let you guys know But as you can see we can easily go on expert 4800 and we go ahead and fight our bar unit also is gonna come in handy here We're gonna go ahead and fight We're gonna continue. I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling good about it, but el mundo esta muerto so Mexico City as you can see there are loads and loads and loads of loads of walls I got my iPhone here I got a bit of a different setup here with the recording just to kind of mix things up a little bit This is actually using my phone, but I'm borrowing it from a friend just to kind of give it a go see if I want to get an i6 Plus, but I don't know yet But it's a pretty fun little kind of way to mix up recording here get a bit of a different take on the game But first wave it's gonna be coming in from this area over here now What I'm gonna do is there's a weird little blur going on here. I kind of like it So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these guys over here throw the machine gun over here you 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 and just kind of just put all sorts of problems in here so that machine gunners be going to be is going to be doing our bulk of our damage here so let me go ahead and just kind of send these guys out here hopefully they can't don't take out that wall too hastily i'm gonna go ahead and start throwing down a bunch of lumberjack and really it's just kind of trash your units as much as possible and kind of hold up the fort for as long as possible so i'm gonna go ahead and send this wave here i'm gonna speed this up a bit as you can see machine gunners starting to get warmed up here not a lot of people are coming through but when they do it's just a delivery man usually those drones will go down from that um <coughs> usually the drones actually get taken out by the delivery man when he's kind of going in so i'm going to flare these guys away really quick kind of refill this area with a bunch of random lumbo jacks and just roll with that so we're about to get another machine gunner soon but as you can see we're really heavily heavily reliant on that one machine gunner we're going to have here I'm just kind of throwing down trash units here. So as you can see, that delivery man pretty much took out all the other delivery men. Took, kind of wasting them on walls and things like that. So as you can see, everyone's kind of focusing in on here. I'm going to go ahead and throw down my next MG right there. They're going to be heading towards that next wall sooner than later. Let me go ahead and flare these guys. 
oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Flare them all right there. Get them on the same little kind of spot. Take them out with that kind of mild stuff, cocktail and whatnot. And I'm just going to kind of finish off the rest of you guys with that and machine that lumberjack goodness gracious and we'll just finish off those last couple of guys here and let me go ahead and move that a little bit closer to them and take out those last couple of drones here and that will call it a day here and just come on you guys can do it 530 trophies so that's not too bad at all that's more than good um i can take that all day every day that's gonna give us all three rewards here so we actually got eh, just shy of the max trophy unit but as you can see here we're gonna be getting about 5,000 cans just over just below i think actually just above actually so yeah we're gonna be getting 5,000 cans per go and a personal trainer and this is pretty much what i've been doing i'm just gonna grind out maybe i want to watch some tv just have this rolling in the background kind of working on farming and then say i want to help in a guild raid this will give me tons of cans to go ahead and use in a guild raid to help out the guild get some gxp going and just different things like that so i'm gonna go ahead and get another couple tax in <coughs> let me go ahead and borrow not too many people are on at the moment here i'm gonna go ahead and borrow the merc right here why not as you can see Oh, I got a sweet soccer jersey on. Just kind of mixing it up here. I don't really wear soccer jerseys because I'm not the biggest soccer fan, but I kind of thought YOLO. Why not? YOLO. YOLO, YOLO, YOLO. You only live once, guys. So let me see where the objective is here. Some objective. Okay, this is actually one of the better objective points. I have a whole lot of fun with this one. I can set my machine gun right back here and just kind of set up shop right here. Just really just crowd this area like nobody's business. Kind of move them all in here. And then I just kind of let them go through that wall. I just go ahead and I'm going to speed this up and go ahead and just let all these waves go ahead and on. Take out those walls. I'm giving you those walls for free. You can have them. Now, they may take out, take out some of my guys here. I'm going to go ahead and send out a ton of waves. And you're actually a really cool effect here. If we can get them in the right spawn just enough, we can actually take out a whole huge row of them pretty darn quickly. As you can see, it's just like a huge chain reaction. It's like a domino effect. And you can actually take out a whole lot of these drones as a result of that. So let me go ahead and set, start sending out some more guys here. Let that machine gun get warmed up. Flare them away just a moment here. Now we're going to get some other waves coming just in a moment here. I'm going to go ahead and send these guys on their way. They're probably going to end up getting very crowded up on this wall, but we're going to have to use some Molotov cocktails and things like that to take them out. So I can see, objective point, very, very well defended. Now that's actually another plus. These It offers one objective point, and it actually gives us just one thing to defend it makes life easier it makes it easier to consolidate all units in one spot and it makes it a whole lot easier when only using one really super powered unit so as you can see it looks like people are going to start getting pretty crowded over here i can throw down my machine gunner i'm going to go ahead and throw my machine gunner over here and let me go come on actually you know you can just find it so you can stay there let me go ahead and use my molotov cocktail on this area over here and let's throw down these guys over here just kind of start causing some problems See if we can kind of flare them away just for the moment here. Sort of give them a little bit extra time. So we're not going to be getting spit on. So it looks like we just got a couple drones over here. Let me go ahead and see if I can move my machine gun over there. You want to move over for me? That'd be nice. Be much obliged. Oh, come on, guys. Give me some more stuff to ammunition. Come on, machine gunner. Okay, you know what? You can take out those guys for me. Take out that spitter for me, please. Come on. All right, so down goes that one. Can we get the machine gunner to move anywhere? I know you want to move. It's fine. I get it. All right, there we go. Come on, scatter shot. Finish off the work for me. See if we can move these guys a little bit closer. This is the only grind because sometimes you don't have that many use to kind of take out these last couple drones with, but they will go down eventually. And we got 530 trophies. That will get us all three of the cards, you could say, or the rewards here. So it's really not that big of a deal. As you can see, one, two, three, and we are going to be getting some rewards. <coughs> so there you go. 5,000 more cans in the pocket, in the bank, and that's just going to keep us cruising. So really, it's a good way to farm. It's very effective. You can get a whole, you can spend a whole lot of time farming on here too. You're going to be able to get a ton of cans if you just kind of grind it out, get some farming in, and let me go ahead and just kind of shift it up. We're going to do one more attack here, and this time I'm going to switch up my main sort of power unit. And let me go ahead and throw in my Desperado. Now you can also sort of double up. I've got other, I've got a couple other like kind of random like level level 10, 11 troops. You can throw those in too, just in case you want a little bit more firepower. So I can swap out that guy for my surgeon. That works too. And let me go ahead and borrow my like my lumberjack here. Fight. Be unlucky. Let's go ahead and continue. Now it does when you're not having a machine gunner, it makes it a little bit more interesting. Sometimes you may want to bring along two units, maybe something like that. <clears throat> especially in this situation this situation is going to be very interesting 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 indeed so what i'm going to do here is i'm actually going to throw my desperado over there and i'm just going to throw down a ton of lumberjacks 
right here. Let's move my Desperado back just a little bit. Throw down a ton of Lumberjacks there. Just loads of them. Start the waves. Speed it up. Go ahead and send that first wave on its way. Now, we do have a Surgeon sort of kind of ready to start, go ahead and just start causing problems. So, I'm going to send all of these uh, Deliverymen raves, ra uh, waves very soon, guys. As you can see, huge chain reaction going. And they're going to go ahead and take out my Desperado here. Oy vey, they're going to go straight for that wall, aren't they? And Lumberjack, come on. Don't go towards my hospital, please. Please don't. Oh, Lord. Sp slow down. Too much, too fast. Gosh dang it. <laughs> so much is going down right now, I can't even comprehend it. Stimzy, you... This is sort of my bad. This is sort of a brain fart, going to be honest. But... Okay, you know what? I think they're about to take that, aren't they? Yep. <coughs> that was my fault. I sped that up too fast. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and start over. So, you know, sometimes you do have a fail. Sometimes you're going to make a stupid mistake and you're going to lose one. But you still have plenty of time. That's a good example. I mean, sometimes you just screw up. <coughs> <coughs> sometimes you screw up, guys. But you can still come back. Look at that. I still got 2,500 cans. I mean, look at that. So, I mean, you're still going to be getting canned, sort of, no matter what. Let me go ahead and uh, put them on expert here. Update my squad. I'm going to bring along my sharpshooter this time just because I want a little bit extra firepower. And let me go ahead and just bring along a more, more like, gunner-type units here. I'm going to bring along all of them. And let me go ahead and borrow... I like the fire chief. So, let's go ahead and continue. See if our luck is going to pay off this time. <coughs> Ugh. All right game time so very uh solid little spawn point i'm not i don't have any complaints i kind of like it so i'm gonna go ahead and throw down all my boys here throw down some people there start the wave speed it up go ahead and send them on their way so uh, i'm gonna slow it down just for this last kind of level so i'm actually gonna go ahead and send all these guys in and i'm gonna hold off for the rest now these these as you can see they just took out almost everybody now that's sort of a testament to like the strategy you can use here because it'll actually take out everybody for you. It just makes like a whole bunch of just easier. So I'm gonna sort of sacrifice that guy. He takes out almost everybody on the wall. Yeah, he go that delivery that last delivery man does take out that wall, but it's fine. We have plenty of walls, plenty of units to sort of deploy, and I'm not too worried. Look at this. So we got some more units already off the bat here. Flare them out just a little bit, give them that extra time, and they're almost all dropped except for two. Come on, there we go. And look at that. Easy peasy lemon squeeze just makes a whole life life a whole lot easier. Throw down a surgeon there. Start kind of reviving everybody. Throw down a sharpshooter in the back here. Sort of chill out in the back. So that surgeon's just going to start reviving everybody like crazy. And just start to get back to work here. So I got two surgeons on that pad. I don't know where they're going. Come on. There's plenty of people to revive there, as you can see. Come on. So where are people hanging out these days? Let me go ahead and flare everybody over to this corner here. Actually, look at that. That delivery man's about to take out everybody for me. Boom. Look at that. Makes life a whole lot easier. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm going to go ahead and throw down a Desperado here with a whole bunch of other Desperados and Commandos. Use a Molotov cocktail on the back end here of this little train. Take out the last couple people. And it looks like we're just going to take out a couple more drones. And we're going to be pretty much home free. As you can see, 500, 600 trophies plus our bonus. So look at that. Far beyond what we've gotten before, and sometimes a little bit more patience will actually give you a better reward. So, as you can see, go ahead and show our rewards here. <coughs> this time when we got 2,500, sometimes that happens, but you're still going to be getting a ton of cans. It's still really good. Great strategy if you're interested in some higher level farming techniques right there. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode 13 minutes long. It's a fun high level gameplay for me, guys. If you enjoyed it, Make sure to drop a like if you want to comment. I always love the comments. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? It's the nation. You want to be a part of it. But guys, thank you so much for watching as always. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.